All right, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a quick rundown on how the beach is broken down and how it works in Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro. All right, so you're going to start in Lemmy. That's the furthest most point right before you hit Copacabana Beach. That's where mad locals be at. Little kids be jumping off the walls and stuff like that, doing dives. Real cool. Then from post one to five, you got Copacabana Beach. So that's the world-renowned, world-famous. You can stop anywhere in there. Tell your friends you were around there. Normally, there's some girls around three. Five is right there at the end. Then you're going to hit the Atorare Por or something like that. But it's basically where the beach splits. People also be jumping off the beach there, off the little walls. It looked like a little fort. You're going to see it. And then after that, you got Ipanema Beach. That's a real popular, a little bit more local. But it's a nice beach from post six to ten. Post 8 is the gay part of the beach, but it'd be a lot of people out there, a lot of girls out there. It's fun. 9 and 9 and a half, that's where the smokers be at. So if you're trying to get you some grass, you know what I mean? And then 10 to 11, you really just hanging out with the locals, some good-looking girls there. Then you're going to see a split, and then you're going to hit Le Blanc Beach, and that's where the Beverly Hills of Rio de Janeiro is. Real nice-looking people over there. That's where I stayed the first time I went out there. So that's how the beach work, y'all. Take that. Take that, take that.